Hey guys! In today's video, I'll be reviewing the top 8 best motherboards. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I tried to rank them based on their quality, durability, customer reviews, and more. If you want to know about the best pricing and more information, you can check the description links below. Number 8 in my list is Asus ROG Crosshair X670E Hero Motherboard. AMD has introduced the powerful AN5 platform, featuring high-speed CPUs like the Ryzen 9 7950X. To make the most of this power, you'll want a premium motherboard like the Asus ROG X670E Hero. The Hero has been a favorite among enthusiasts for both Intel and previous AMD X570 platforms, and it's back with even more features this time around. It includes DDR5 support and PCIe Generation 5, which offers expansive PCIe lanes on the X670E chipset. You not only get two PCIe Generation 5 16X slots, but also four onboard M2 NVMe slots. Among these, two are PCIe Generation 5 and two are Gen 4, providing exceptional storage performance. And there's an extra feature. The included accessory PCIe Generation 5 card allows you to add another NVMe drive, expanding your storage options even further. Number 7 in my list is Asus ROG Maximus Z790 Hero Motherboard. If you're looking for a top-notch motherboard for your Intel 13th generation CPU, the Asus ROG Z790 stands out as one of the best choices available. It pairs exceptionally well with the Intel i9-13900K, thanks to its twin 20 plus 1 power stages that deliver exceptional performance. Equipped with DDR5 support, PCIe Generation 5, and a multitude of USB ports, it offers extensive input and output options. When it comes to M2 drive slots, there are three on board, plus the added convenience of an included ROG M2 PCIe card that allows you to incorporate two more. Among its notable features are Thunderbolt 4, Wi-Fi 6E, 2.5 GB networking, and an abundance of heat sinks to keep things cool. The packaging is impressive, featuring a premium box and comprehensive accessories that match the motherboard's $629.99 MSRP. Additionally, the motherboard itself is exceptionally well-built, exuding a substantial and weighty feel when held. Number 6 in my list is Asus TUF Gaming B650 motherboard. The main M2 slot can handle up to PCIe 5.0, while the other two slots support PCIe 4.0. However, it's worth noting that the cooling for the primary slot is relatively small compared to some bulkier M2 heatsinks found on motherboards like the ASRock X670E Pro RS and Gigabyte Z790 Aorus Master. This motherboard offers support for a single 5 Jeeps Type-C front connector and can accommodate up to two Type-A and four USB 2.0 ports. While this is decent, having a 10 Gbps Type-C port would have been a nice addition. In terms of VRM, voltage regulator module, it's decent but not extraordinary. Keep in mind that expectations for a plethora of 105 A stages are typically reserved for boards that cost significantly more. The 12 plus 2 phase design with 60 A stages proved sufficient for powering my Ryzen 9 7950X without any issues. Additionally, the board includes 4 plus 8 pin CPU power connectors for added power delivery. Number 5 in my list is MSI Mag B660 motherboard. While it lacks DDR5 support, the MSI Mag B660 Tomahawk Monlify DDR4 proves to be a solid choice for budget conscious Alder Lake builders. It boasts a robust VRN setup, ensuring it can handle the maximum turbo load of a 12,900K without any issues. Furthermore, it offers a generous array of input and output ports for its price point. This iteration represents a significant improvement since the last Gen B560 motherboards, making it a compelling option for those looking to save on their 12th generation build. The design is understated, featuring a black color scheme and no RGB lighting, allowing it to seamlessly blend into most systems.
However, it does come equipped with four RGB headers, including two addressable ones, for those who want to add some colorful flair to their setup. Number four in my list is MSI Mag B660M motherboard. As a more budget-friendly option in the Alder Lake lineup compared to some of the pricier Z690 boards available, the MSI Mag B660M Mortar BUIFI DDR4 may make a few sacrifices, but it still offers an impressive set of features. This micro ATX board not only boasts excellent power design, but also manages to provide eight USB ports on the back panel, including one USB 3.2 Generation 2 Type-C, along with various internal headers on the board itself. While it lacks overclocking capabilities and DDR5 support, opting for DDR4 makes sense given its affordability as an entry point to the Alder Lake platform. Although a DDR5 version is available in the UK, it's not readily found in the US. One notable absence from its feature list is support for PCIe 5.0 graphics cards. However, since such cards aren't currently available, it's not a significant omission. On the plus side, the motherboard includes a reinforced X16 PCIe 4.0 slot for the GPU, another full-length X4 slot, and a shorter X1 PCLE 3.0 slot. Additionally, having a pair of PCIe 4.0 M2 slots for your drives should suffice for most users. Number 3 in my list is Gigabyte Z690i motherboard. In our testing, the Gigabyte Z690i Aorus Ultra Plus has proven itself to be a reliable, visually appealing, and cost-effective choice in the realm of Z690 and 90 ITX motherboards. With a price tag of $329.99, it offers a more budget-friendly option compared to most of its competitors. Notably, it features two M2 sockets, a modern premium audio codec, and high-quality 105 AMOSAETs to support various CPUs. Additionally, it boasts an RGB-inclusive design for those who appreciate some visual flair. When comparing it to other options in the market, we have the ASRock Z690 Phantom Gaming ITX Anti-B4 at $299.99. The MSI MEG Z690 I Unify at $399.99, and Asus ROG Strix Z690 I Gaming Wi Fi 6E at $409.99. These are all capable ITX motherboards, and your choice largely boils down to your budget and specific requirements. All of these boards come equipped with Wi-Fi 6E, 2.5 GBE, at least two SATA ports, and two M2 sockets. The MSI stands out with its three M2 sockets, while the ASRock lags in terms of audio codecs, although the difference is hardly noticeable for most users. Number two in my list is ASRock MB, the Z790 steel motherboard. The ASRock Steel Legend offers an excellent choice for budget-conscious users seeking the versatility of Intel's overclockable platform without breaking the bank. It boasts a sleek black-on-silver design, complemented by vibrant RGB lighting. This motherboard provides access to all the features the platform has to offer. Among its notable features are a PCIe 5.0 slot, 5 and 2 sockets, 8 SATA ports, Front panel 20 GBP is USB Type-C, integrated Wi-Fi 6E, a basic audio codec, an EDP port for an additional monitor, and robust power delivery capable of handling high-end processors, whether at stock settings or during overclocking. Number one in my list is ASRock MBZ790 motherboard. In a market where motherboard prices have significantly risen in recent years, it's refreshing to find a partner offering a more affordable yet feature-packed option. The ASRock Z790 Techi Lite, priced at $379.99, provides nearly everything the Prissier Techi model offers. This includes a robust power delivery system, dual Thunderbolt 4 ports, extensive storage options with a PCLE 5.0 M2 socket and 8 SATA ports, premium audio capabilities, and more. The main difference lies in the aesthetics. 
while the high-end Taichi boards boast intricate 3D cogs, finely finished heat sinks, and shrouds, the Taichi Lite features simpler heat sinks, a more exposed PCB, and stenciled designs. However, it still maintains the recognizable Taichi branding and performance, making it an attractive choice for those seeking value without compromising on functionality. Alright guys, this we are today's video. If you find this video helpful for you, then like the video and if you come to our channel first time, then hit the subscribe button for amazing and coming videos. Be sure to check out the link in the description for updated price of all the products discussed in this video. Hope you have a great day and see you soon in the next video.